In this lesson, let's troubleshooting the DNS issues between the parent and child domains in our ID system. First of all, we will review our ID system and the symptoms of the DNS issue. After that, we will come up with a solution. And finally, we will sum up our lesson with the keynotes. Here is our current AD system. In this system, we have one domain controller, gpvdc01, in the root domain itlifeskills.local. In the child domain hq.itlifeskills.local, we have only one domain controller, rpvdc01. Now let's get into the detail of the symptom. From our PVDC01, we will ping GPVDC01. And as you can see, it says that it could not find the host with the name GPVDC01. Now let's ping the fully qualified domain name of the host and we get the same error message. Now let's open the Active Directory Science Services and from OPVDC01, we will try to replicate to GPVDC01 manually. And we will get this error message. It says that the reason of the error message is because the DNS lookup failure Now we are on OPVDC01 and we open DNS Manager. As you can see, the zone for the root domain itlifeskills.local is missing on this DNS server, which caused the issue. There are several solutions for this issue, but in this case, let's create a stop zone for the root domain IT life skills .local. To do that, let's right click on the forward lookup zones and click on new zone and click next. Here we select stop zone and click next. And here we click next. And here we type in the zone name, which is IT life skills .local. Then click next. And here we type in the DNS server from which this DNS server will load the zone. So we have to type in the IP address of GPVDC01, which is 10.0.0.10. Then we click next and click finish. Now we select the zone IT life skills .local and we got this error message zone not loaded by DNS server. Let's find out why. The reason OPVDC01 could not load the zone IT life skills .local from GPVDC01 because we haven't configured the zone transfer. Let's verify that by right click on the zone IT life skills .local and click properties. And here we click zone transfer. As you can see, the allow zone transfer option is not selected which prevent the zone transfer from GPVDC01 to any other DNS server. So to allow the zone transfer, we need to select the option allow zone transfer. And to make it simple, we will allow to transfer to any server. And here we click OK and that's it. Here we are on OPVDC01. Let's open DNS Manager. And here we click on Forward Lookup Zones and click on the zone name itlifeskills.local. As you can see, the zone is loaded successfully. Now let's open Command Prompt and ping the fully qualified domain name of GPVDC01. As you can see, the ping is success. 
Here we open Active Directory Size and Services and on our PVDC01, we will manually replicate to GPVDC01. To do that, we need to right click on the connection and click on Replicate Now. As you can see, the replication is working. We have just solved the DNS issue between the parent and the child domain by using the ID integrated stop zones. Here are the keynotes for this lesson.